So far, the matrix class hasn't done all that much for us. I've shown you how to do exactly what you already knew how to do, translate and rotate around the x, y, or z axis. Here's a transform that isn't built into the Object 3D class, axis angle rotation, and for that you really do need to use a separate matrix. Say I want to make a little star-shaped ornament out of four cylinders. Or if you're feeling more dramatic, I want to make some carbon fiber caltrops to trip up the robo minotaurs about to launch a final assault on our base on Centesi Prime. It's really our only last hope. Ah, <sighs> I'm better now. Well, anyway, I want to align the four cylinders with the four diagonals of a cube. The hard part is figuring out the rotation matrix I want to use if I'm stuck using Euler angles. Do I rotate in Y and then in X, or Z and then in Y, or something else? With the axis angle function, I need to figure out what axis I want to rotate around and how much to rotate. We're going to use cylinders to make our object. Here's a cutaway view of the cube showing the original position of the cylinder and its desired location in the wireframe along one of the diagonals. Every cylinder starts pointing up along the y-axis. Step one is to figure out around which axis to rotate this vertical cylinder. I want to rotate the cylinder to the point x, y, z all equal to one. The question to you is which axis do I want to rotate around in order to get this cylinder into its final position? Your choices are axis one, which is along the y-axis, axis two, which goes along negative x and z, axis three, which goes along this xyz axis itself. And your last choice is axis 4, which goes along the z axis. Mark each that is correct, if any. If you get stuck, you might want to go back to the answer for how we formed a disc-shaped object out of the swept clock hands, as that might help you out.